What is going on everybody? Today we're going to talk about the meta changes for 4.1 and what is now meta slash the go-to option for not only the weapon choices but the attachments as well. Uh, a quick rundown. The SCAR is now probably, in my opinion, the best assault rifle in the game. Uh, the way we're going to test this stuff out so I can show you guys everything is if you come to the portal, you go to experience, if you guys want to use this aim trainer for whatever just to warm up your shots or test stuff out yourself, you can type in Alpha Alpha November Juliet 7 Zulu. And this brings you to the aim trainer. Put in a password so nobody can uh, join your progress. And while this is loading, we're going to run through a bunch of different weapons, uh, specifically the ones that were drastically changed, i.e. The, the SCAR, the PKP, the GBT, and the Sniper's one-hit kill range. Um, a little spoiler, I'm sure that... Some of y'all have already seen my my own video that I posted on Twitter and Ender's video of the GBT now one shots to the body, just like the sniper rifles do, and that was a silent buff. And according to what uh, Ender's and, and I have said in discussion, that this was intentional. I don't foresee this ever going away, or at least anytime soon. I 100% disagree on this change, but again, this is why we have silent buffs. So we'll go ahead and start with the sniper rifles and then I'll switch to the GBT and then we'll walk through all the other weapons that were changed along with the weapon attachments themselves. Now, as you can see here, this is roughly okay, 15 meters away. Alright, 15 meters away. One shots, okay. Now, before we move over to the GBT, as you guys notice, the long barrel, the, the rate of fire is pretty slow. You can use the, the standard barrel to get a little bit faster, okay. Or if you like quick scoping, that's having a stroke from reaching ring. Okay, okay. anyways, fun bug. If you want a quick scope, if you're aggressive, you like having fun with the sniper rifles like that, if you run the short barrel close combat rounds, this is the closest you're going to get to the original pre-nerf of the sniper rifles rate of fire to that rate of fire that you had with the long barrel. You can see here, you can kind of run around and get that same speed with the quick scope. It'll be almost as close to the exact same speed you had in little fun clips like this in game. Keep in mind, obviously, when you're aggressive sniping, it's high risk, high reward, right? So this is just for fun. Uh, moving on to this GBT that I have to redeploy for because I don't have it set. I'll show you guys the high power rounds, one shot, two 19 meters. If you guys have not seen this already, this is what it looks like. It is, in my opinion, something that should not be implemented into the game. But it is. Here we go. Like, uh, this, uh, I don't know what, why this was changed. Who knows? <clears throat> my, my only guess is this technically, as you build it, is a sniper rifle. It's a lever action. But, you know, it's, you know, single shot lever. So, now, I've already hit a clip with this thing doing this. I hit a five on yesterday. Now you can do dumb things like this. And why? Tell me why this is allowed. Okay. As fun as this is, this is incredibly broken. <laughs> Have fun with it at your will. Do what you like. Uh, it's the high power rounds, right? The standard rounds still one shot as well for the body. Up to 15 meters. It's not 20, it's 15. Great power comes great responsibility, Kappa. Just, uh, I don't know why this is a change. But it's here, it's staying, so if you get one shot by a GBT, you now know why. Thank you, Dice. All right, moving on to the Scar. This, in my opinion, is the best AR in the game right now. 
With that being said, all of the SMGs and ARs are now viable. The SCAR four shots with high power rounds up to 39 meters. With the standard rounds, it's 19 meters. And I'll back up a little bit so you guys can see that. So out to past that range, you get a five. And then you can see that it's a four shot. So if you're like playing closer or you just want the higher rate of fire, standard round. Okay. Now, the reason that I'm running the RAP suppressor is because of the base recoil buff. The base recoil buff was the initial recoil of the weapons were not correctly implemented, meaning the recoil that we visually saw did not match what was supposed to be displayed with the factory barrel. As you can see here, it is now almost a straight, you know, zigzag slight to the right, to the left, and back right. So more of that zig pattern to the right with the factory barrel. There is no more horizontal on the SCAR, which is huge. This gun is now very easy to use. And with this, as good of a change as this is for the majority of the players, keep in mind this is lowering the skill gap. So everybody is on a more quote unquote even playing field, which is fine, right? It gives people a chance to now be in a more fair engagement. However, lowering the skill gap does not make the game better. Now people have a fair fight, quote unquote, right? Now, transitioning from the base recoil getting changed to the aim assist being slightly tweaked, now your controller players have slightly better aim assist. That does not mean that it is fixed. That does not mean mouse input was fixed. We still have broken input. You still have broken aim assist. But I have seen in game, specifically with the K30 and the AC42, because of the snap aim assist, those are still laser beams for the controller players. Skilled controller players like Cabretti and Quags and EK and Steve and all those other players, anybody else who runs controller who is good at the game, they can run most of the guns and still frag out. Despite that, going back to the community majority of the players, you now have a more even playing field so overall, for the gameplay itself, it's a plus. My personal opinion is the skill gap getting lowered like they lowered with nerfing movement. I don't agree with that. There should, there's a skill gap for a reason for people who quote unquote want to grind games or be one of the top players in any game, not just Battlefield. There should be a skill gap, right? There's always a skill gap in a game. I'll finish off this rant with people who are going to argue with me like, oh, well, the skill gaps are because Battlefield isn't Battlefield-esque. It's more Call of Duty, it's more of this, it's more of that. Yes, I understand where everyone's coming from. However, comma, it is 2022. There are very few games that are boots on the ground traditionally anymore. Adapt to the movement or you're just gonna keep getting destroyed. That's all there is to it. Just my opinion. You can take it or leave it. You can agree or disagree with me. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, lowering the skill gap does not make the gameplay better. But, as I contradict myself, this now makes the game a more even playing field, right? Now, going to the attachments, why am I running the RAP suppressor, okay? You've got the 6KU suppressor and you've got the heavy suppressors, right? The 6KU suppressor lowers your effective range. While you see here on the screen, the, the RAP suppressor only drops my projectile velocity, meaning it only decreases the amount of time it takes for the bullet after I fire to reach my target. So most of my engagements are within this four meter, four meter kill range. 39 meter kill range, not four, sorry. So I'm not really worried about leading my shots a whole lot. With any of the weapons that have one of the Now if I run attack comp, further distances. 
If you're a traditional AR player who likes to do engagements between the 50 to 75, even out to 100 meters, you like top-firing people from 100 meters away. Something like the TAC Compensator is going to be your go-to. Or the Champion Muzzle Brake, right? I will say that if you can still cannot ha control this factory barrel, or you have issues with it, I highly recommend just running the Champion Muzzle Brake, and then coming into the Aim Trainer, and practicing the recoil of the weapons that you mostly use until you get good with the factory barrel. Overall, the factory barrel is the best factory because again, it has no negatives. Whereas this gives me weapon accuracy, but I lose some recoil control, right? So this means that the gun bounces a little more, but ADS accuracy is less boom. On cases, right? That's, that's the best I'll show you my main weapon, my PP29, okay. Factory barrel. We'll look at the recoil. Alright, very little. Now if I switch to the suppressor, they're almost identical. You notice that with the suppressor, it does a little bit of this. Very slight, right? So all I gotta do, honestly, is just pull down. If I pull down, there's no reason. And I can do this continuous fire. Now, I notice in game, if I go past like the 40 meter holding down the trigger, I get a little bit more of this, just not as aggressive. So I've got to kind of compensate for that. And if you take a look at it, like I said, having issues, just run the champion muzzle break. But again, it is the same up, slight to the right, back to the left on almost all of them. If you take a look at these three here, right? Pretty centered with the uh, factory barrel. Slight zigzag. This is the suppressor. You see it curves more like a backwards C here, or even a backwards three, and so on and so forth. All right, so that's champion muscle. Again, most of my engagements when I'm playing aggressive are within the 50 meter range, so I'm not worried about my projectile velocity being a hindrance to my time to kill. Also. Notice how that's a five shot with the suppressor. If I switch to the factory, or even the champion, they're all five shots. And the suppressor does not change the time to kill on your damage drop off. This is why the suppressor is now meta. With this update, more players are looking at their radar on the bottom left here, looking for those red dots, seeing what's popping up, where are the threats, things like that. So now, if I run a suppressor, you don't show up on the minimap. Segwaying into the heavy suppressors, do not run the heavy suppressors unless you're gonna run subsonic rounds. This specifically was designed to work with the heavy suppressors. So now not only do you not show up on the radar, you don't show up as a hit marker indicator. Meaning if I were to take a shot from somebody, this icon would come onto the top of my screen meaning I was being shot in front of me. If I was getting shot with the heavy suppressor and subsonic rounds, I do not get a hit indicator at all. So I have no idea where that round came from. That is the design of the heavy suppressor. Realize that that is not only decreasing your projectile velocity, but the effective range, meaning it decreases your time or increases your time to kill. I.e. taking more shots to kill somebody at distance, right? So if you like the subsonic rounds, that's your play style. Pair those two together money. You're 100% stealth. If you're not running subsonic rounds, don't waste your time running the heavy suppressors. They look cool, sure, but you're, you're effectively putting a handicap on yourself in engagements, okay? I have two. This is why. <laughs> two scars. Anyways, also, real quick, I just want to show you something with the K30, right? It was already a laser beam prior. This is the factory barrel. This is no recoil control. Zero, that's no recoil. have to pull my mouth down and then if I put the champion on this it's even worse like I said if you can't control recoil on your weapon just run the champion but I run the suppressor so I stay off the radar alright alright the last big thing I want to kind of touch on is the PKP's recoil pattern 
all I want you to notice is after the 50 round mark on the full auto, watch what it does to the recoil pattern, okay? It's very similar to the M5 where it's gonna diagonal vertical up to the right and then pass that. You get that, okay? At 150 rounds, it pulls to the right horizontal and then centers back up at 100 rounds to the center with no recoil control. I was not controlling the recoil and it's centered up. Control the recoil, you pull down to the left. Essentially is ridiculous. The gun is still fairly broken. It's still good. My personal opinion is the LCMG is still better than this just because of the modifications you can do to the weapon itself. Also the lower recoil. The LCMG's recoil does not have anything like this. The PKP has been nerfed three times now and you people still want to use it. Guys, if you want to use this gun and lay prone, fine. By all means, play how you want to play. I highly recommend switching to the LCMG if you still want to play quote unquote like a rat or if you're an LMG main guy and you just like LMGs, the LCMG is going to be your better option out of the two. Which is sad that we only have two LMGs, but you know, until we get content, right? Okay, the very last thing I want to close out with is the M5. Some people are asking me, was like, well, now that the SCAR is so buffed, why do any, as, does anybody use the M5? The M5 shouldn't be that good anymore compared to the time to kill. Th this is false. Um, the rate of fire is still what I want. I still want this rate of fire with the short barrel close combat round combo. I solely want this build to compete with high rate of fire weapons like the K30 and the M9. Now, why is RPM so important in these servers? If you guys didn't know, all of the servers for 2042 are 45 tick rate, meaning that there are higher chances of your bullets ghosting, i.e. not registering, as we have seen in plenty of videos from Enders, Baranox, myself, anybody else who plays this game and makes content, you've seen hit reg issues be a thing, and it is real time, and I noticed this in gunfights a lot in 128. Now that breakthrough has moved to 64 player, I don't notice it as much because there are less players throwing projectiles into the server to register them. But if you're not a uh, pocket SMG M5 type of guy, gal, and you like your traditional AR, you can still run the M5 and attack and have virtually no recoil. This is me recoil control, okay? This is no recoil control. I mean, it's just straight up and down. There's no recoil control, okay? You could even run the short barrel, which increases the rate of fire, gives you that diagonal. Running the standard rounds, this competes with the AK's damage output, right? The AK is so good at medium range because of the multiplier to the head, right? Now I'm keeping up with the AK. If I want to use this at medium range and fight the AK, I land those headshots, killing somebody in three shots, right? And that's what the AK does. That's why it's so good. It's got that slow rate of fire, easy recoil management. And that's why most players see out the AK for their medium engagements, but now because of the SCAR buff, more people are transitioning to the SCAR. I've already seen this. I've seen from majority of the players running the SCAR, K30, the PP29. I've seen the GBT, the NTW. Because of the armor going away, the NTW is now one-shotting more players consistently. Sure, it, it one-shots out to 150 meters, guys. If you run the NTW as your primary, my personal opinion of you is you're weird. I'm sorry. Use a real sniper, unless you're killing vehicles with it, or you just wanna have fun. I mean, you know, play how you wanna play. Don't take it the wrong way. I'm calling you weird, because that's how I feel when I get NTW'd from Narnia, and I don't have anything to counter it. I just get one tapped and I'm down. That's fine, that's how the game is played. One-shot mechanics in Battlefield traditionally usually don't play out well for the quote-unquote sweaty slash competitive community because it takes quote zero skill. It's a zero skill weapon, right? 
I'm, that's, I'm gonna end that rant there because I don't, this is not the intent of this video. But coming back to my M5, again, I run grab suppressor, so I stay off the radar. I still have that somewhat high rate of fire. I could even run the close combat rounds to increase the rate of fire. And now I've got something close to the combat SMG that is slightly faster than the CP-29. So, my last little tidbit for you guys, if you haven't already seen this before, this is old, the quick scope mechanic for any weapon, right, if I tap and shoot like that, the bullet goes where the dot is. So I line up my shot, the bullet goes where the dot is, even if I don't fully ADS, right? You can see this more egregiously with the GVT. I don't scope in all the way. You can see I'm black. This is what a quote unquote black scope is from Call of Duty. I'm half scoping and I'm landing the shot. Okay. So if you guys didn't know that, now you know. You don't have the full ADS. And this is probably why up close with sniper rifles, you're dying faster than you can ADS or try to hit fire the guy. Cause this is what they're doing. So keep that in mind. Hopefully, this video was informative enough for you guys. If you guys like the video, um, be sure to leave a like or follow or subscribe, whatever you guys want to do. If you watch the video entirely through, I appreciate it. Uh, if you guys have any other questions about weapon attachments, different guns you want to see, you can either put a comment down in the section below, uh, ask me on Twitter, you can DM me there. Uh, I have a Discord. I'll put my Discord username directly in the video. You guys can add me on Discord. I'm always open up for conversation. Or you can uh, follow the Twitch channel. I'll put all my social links down in the description below. Have a good night, everybody. I appreciate anyone who's stuck it out and watched this video through. If you found anything informative and hopefully helpful to you, then I'm glad that I put this out for you guys. Until then, have a good night. I will catch you guys in the next video.